I suck at these, but I'm going to do my absolute best to take my time and not make the video too long, show you how to get to Mogwin Palace without VAR, and also farm an absolute insane amount of runes. I have a link down below in the description box that'll help you to even get to the consecrated snowfield to begin with. This is the secret area of the game, or at least one of them. And when you get to the area, you're going to start off here. You're going to run north right there and get your first site of grace. I would probably suggest heading up north and grabbing the inner consecrated snowfield. And now where we want to go is somewhere that's going to teleport us to the Mogwin Palace. And that is directly off to the west over here. So put a waypoint right there. You see this big glob thing here? It looks like a tower. Then you got like a little straight line next to it. And then next to that you have like this tiny little dot. Well, just a little bit to the left and a smidgen up. But that's okay because I am going to come here. Fast travel, I'm going to hold your hand and we're going to do this thing right. I saw a video that was 15 seconds that got one and a half million views. And it's a good video, but it left much to be desired as I didn't know how to get there. I had to look up a bunch of other stuff. So now that we're at the site of grace, you want to keep in mind that the first time you do this, you're actually going to be invaded twice. Once around here. And then another one closer to the tree stumps here. You're going to see this little thing here off to the side like a ruins. It's not overly difficult. I mean, the zone can be difficult, but this little section here is not too bad. And then I got a thing for you at the end to watch that's going to be really interesting. Because coming back here... Oh, sorry, just a little detour. Hopefully I didn't uh, screw you up. So we're just, we're just going straight, right? Straight line. I just came from there. There is something that's interesting about this location. When you want to fast travel back to it. So you got to be careful here because if you just follow it... Oh, there it is. See? So again, the spot that I showed you on the map at the beginning. Let's go ahead and travel to the other side coming back here once you get the site of grace can be a little bit complicated maybe so now let's run through here and as deadly as this cave looks there are no enemies it's a beautiful thing you see that site of grace way up ahead there that's where we're actually going to go and that bird that you could see in the distance is what we're going to exploit to get 18,000 runes, but there's a special little way to do it. See all these little extra steps, me babbling and holding your hand, taking your time, and not going 100 miles an hour. Some people fast forward their videos to make it go faster. I just personally don't like that shit. I just find it's, it's too much for me. You've got this thing that you can interact with. Here is your site of grace. Now here's where it gets interesting. Use a ranged attack. If you do it from here like the video I saw, it doesn't seem to work. Because he'll start running. Oh, okay, I guess he does work. Okay, and as you can see, he fell off and we got 11,000 11, runes there. And then from here, this is where it gets interesting. The palace approach ledge road but we cannot fast travel to anywhere else in the game except for the Ainsoul river well depths so it may be that if you come here and you've never been here you somehow can't get out and you're forced to do the whole thing i don't know i just want to show you this thing here again one more time i want to do it a couple of times and show you because I, I feel it's important to show it to you once, properly, even if it's not perfect. So go ahead and shoot the bird. Really put your back into it. 
There we go. Now, see how he won't fall off the ledge? Perfect. So, come more towards here. Don't worry about these guys. They won't really attack you. Come closer to over here. And this is what I had to do. Well, now the bird is moving. This shows you the nuances that could happen. You can either try to respawn and see if you'll just jump off the cliff. But as you could see, this could be fairly annoying. But now if I shoot him and actually hit him, there we go. See? Now he'll fall off the cliff. So if you can't get him right from the side of grace there, come to this spot and you'll get him and then you just rinse and repeat. Okay, now that that's out of the way, here's what's really interesting. I haven't really, you know, gone through here. We have to talk about this spot here. Because you may need to unlock this site of grace in order to be able to get out and go back to the rest of the normal world. So this is the site of grace. This is one of those caves, dungeon things that you can visit. But I'm going to pull the lever, because if you just go down there, you'll you'll fall to your death. I'm going to pause it. Okay, so now that I'm at the top, there's one of those, like, super-duper tall golem things that were here the first time. Again, let's take a look at our map. This is the Ansel River Well near the eastern table land. And if we zoom out, you'll kind of see where it is. It's actually just east of the second boss. Yeah, so Renala was the second boss, I believe, the one where you can respec. And if you've never really been in this area, I suggest that you go through the water, okay? And I just double-checked before recording this. Bring yourself here to the eastern Lyurnia Lakeshore if you don't have this Site of Grace. And you are, in fact, able to follow this. No problem up here. Or up here to get your Site of Grace. I don't think... You can come from the first boss and just shoot straight ahead. Something tells me that this is way too big of a drop and you can't do it. You might be able to do it here, but it's just, it's really complicated. And I think there's a big massive mountain here, even though there's a path and I don't think I was able to get through. Okay. So again, if you don't have anything up here, this is a good place to start to get you to that location. And when you are down here, as soon as you're halfway down, you can hit your map and it'll go dark and you'll be able to fast travel back to that point so that you can keep farming. Runes. There are so many ways to farm runes in this game. Some give you more runes per hour than others, but they're not necessarily technically the best, if that makes any sense. Some of them are a little bit hard to pull off. Like, I feel like this one is good, but if you get lucky, if that makes any sense. There are some other ones that only give about a third of the amount of runes, but because I'm more easily able to execute it on a per hour basis, I actually get more runes than I do, say, with this one, for example, okay? But it's nice to share as a community all these different ways to farm runes, the different parts of the game that you're in. You may find one easier than another, okay? So there you have it. If you liked the video, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down, and I'll bend it in half, and I'll break this thing off in your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, obviously, that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, and maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.